advanced reader's copy, which I would like to point out is illegal to sell, so I thought I needed to buy it in order to protect the world. <laughs> And today I'm here with a thrift store book haul. There was a 50% off sale at my local value village. So you know your girl can never say no to a sale. So I picked up five more books, even though I have a thousand that I have not read yet. Here we are yet again. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I picked up I am definitely the most excited for, and it is Hidden Bodies by Caroline Kepneys. This is the sequel to You which I loved so much. I honestly have no idea if this like picks off where you left off or if it's a completely different girl that he's stalking now. I don't know, but I'm excited. The next book I picked up is solely because of the author. It is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I recently read In a Dark Dark Wood by her and I loved it so much so now anytime I see a book by her I snatch it up. But it's about this woman who is a journalist and she gets the opportunity to write about a ship called Aurora and when she's on the ship she sees a woman fall overboard then when she brings it to the attention of the captain and the crewmates all of the passengers and staff are accounted for so she's very confused with what she saw and nobody believes her and it's kind of the story of that so I'm intrigued and I really liked her first book so I'm hoping that I like this one as well. The next book I picked up basically just because I recognized the cover and it was one of those you need four books to get a fifth one free so I was like <laughs> okay. But it's Fierce Kingdoms by Jin Phillips. A lot of people were talking about this when it first came out. Honestly I'm not even 100% sure what it's about other than it's a thriller and it's about this woman who brings her son to the zoo and then they're leaving the zoo but she sees something that makes her go back into the zoo and it's like a police investigation and it's like animal instincts of protecting your child. I don't know but I'm intrigued so hopefully we like it. Next book is Rot and Ruin and this is by Jonathan Mayberry. I saw this book around a lot when I first started booktube like three years ago. Honestly I don't remember when I started. It was super popular because zombies were a huge thing. What I really know about it is that this guy named Benny lives in a zombie infested world where you have to work for a living once you turn 15 or you lose your food rations. So he joins the family business of being a zombie killer and it's it's like the story of that I guess but I just like how the zombie is creepy on the inside so I was like I want it so I bought it and then the final book that I picked up is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria and I've heard mixed things about this all I really know about it is that it's about a girl who has an English assignment where she has to write a letter to a dead person. She ends up choosing Kurt Cobain because he died very young and her little sister May also died very young. As the story progresses she writes more and more to different celebrities that have passed away and it's her basically coming to terms with what happened to her sister as well as things that have happened to her in her past. Hopefully I like it but I guess we'll see if I ever actually read it because I never read all the books that I have. I just keep buying more. Alright guys, so that is my little book haul for this video. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!